everyone, if you're new, I'm Mina and welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to be talking about my experience through the Capital One software engineering internship process. So before we get started with today's video, I don't want to quickly mention that this is the third video of the series that I'm doing talking about my internship application process. So my first video, I just talked about my general tips on how I was able to get offers. My second video talked about how I was able to land an Amazon offer and all my tips involved with that. This is obviously the Capital One video. The video after this will be about the Roblox interview process. And the last video will just be comparing all of the offers I was able to get and why I chose to go with the internship program that I did for next summer. So make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. And I'll also link that playlist in the description down below if you want to watch the other videos. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through all of this really fast. So basically I applied on July 11th. That probably sounds really, really early. For those of you who are applying in the coming summer, make sure you're on the lookout in mid-July. I then got the online assessment invite on July 12th by email. So with the OA, it was either three or four coding questions. I don't really remember because it's been several months since then, but I was able to pass every single test case for the first couple of questions. And then the last question, I was super, super close. I literally just needed here? like three more minutes to put in another conditional and I would have been able to pass all the test cases, Every I think. Night. But that just goes to show that you don't have to pass every single test case for every problem in order to move on to the next round. And I would say they were probably around easy to medium leak code level. So if you practice easy leak code questions, that would definitely help to prepare you. I then got the final interview offer on July 25th, again by email. And basically within that email, they sent me a bunch of interview prep resources. So they have like a YouTube channel talking about all their tips and tricks for how to prepare for these interviews. They also had a bunch of like sessions where you're actually talking straight with recruiters. So I went to the session where they talked about each of the three different interviews for the final interview day. And that was really helpful because they did tell me what to expect. They also had technical and case study interview prep sessions. I wasn't able to go to those because my interview was scheduled before any of the case study and technical prep sessions were actually available. But I'm sure that those would be super helpful for you guys if you are able to attend them. So how it works is they have three different interviews. They have the coding, the case study, and behavioral. Each of them I think are an hour and then you have like an hour break sometime in between or before or after all three interviews. And that's just kind of varies depending on who's available at what time to give you the interview. First, I did the case study where basically I went into this completely blind. Like I said, I wasn't able to go to the prep session and I never even heard of a case interview before I got that email saying that there is going to be a case study interview. So I had no idea what to expect. I didn't really have time to prep for it. And honestly, I didn't even know where to look to get that kind of information. So I just went into it completely blind and hope for the best, but clearly it turned out okay because I was able to get an offer from Capital One. So basically what happened was they just gave a broad real life kind of feature that they would ask you what are the pros and cons to implementing this feature or they give you a code snippet kind of relating to the feature and ask you how you can make the code more efficient or if there's any way you can improve on the code and then they also asked what the output of the code snippet would be given a certain input all of those i think are skills that you kind of build throughout doing a bunch of leco problems as well as just like what you learn in your basic coding classes and then for the coding interview i don't think i can say that much about it but i would just say it is kind of object oriented you definitely need to know the basics of class and function creation. And I'm not saying you necessarily need to use a very OO heavy programming language like Java. I personally wouldn't use Java just because it is very syntactically heavy. I think you can make a lot of mistakes like forgetting semicolons. So I did use Python for my interview. I know other companies, they literally just give you a late code type problem and you just code one function and that's it. It's super easy and simple, but Capital One is definitely a little more involved. I would say for both of the technical interviews, so for the coding as well as case study interview, you definitely want to make sure that you clearly show and explain all of your work. For example, writing in comments in the IDE, because I think those comments and really showing a visual of what you're talking about helps because it is a virtual interview. So it's much easier for the interviewer to follow along if you point out line numbers as well as add comments to your code. 
And then finally, for the behavioral interview, honestly, I think that was a pretty standard, just generic behavioral interview. So I don't have any more specific tips other than what I've said in my previous videos. So make sure you check out those videos if you are curious about my behavioral tips. And then after the final interview on August 12th, on August 15th, I did get an email saying that the recruiter wanted to do a post interview call with me. So I scheduled it on August 16th and basically got the offer through a video call. If you do get that email, you could probably expect that you will be getting an offer. Honestly, I think that's all you guys need to know for the Capital One interview. I wanted to make it short and sweet and fast. So make sure you're on the lookout for my next couple of videos in this series. Hope that these tips help you guys and see you in my next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye.